So we are getting the empirical formula now that the simplest form it can exist to be C1, H3, or I simply say CH3. Welcome to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's class, I'll be teaching a very important aspect in chemistry, and it is on solving questions on empirical and molecular formula. Now, the first question we ask ourselves, what is an empirical formula? The empirical formula is simply the simplest form a compound can exist. It tells us the actual elements that are present in a compound. And also, it gives us the simplest O number ratio of a particular compound. Now, you can see this question written on the board. I know already you've chosen an option, but let's quickly check the option you choose, which is the correct option. So let's see how it goes. Recall, I said initially that empirical formula is the simplest form a compound can exist. So the question goes like this. If empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound, that is what I said earlier. Empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound. Which of the following compounds below is an empirical formula? That is the question. Very easy. I know already you've chosen an option. But let's see the option you choose and let's know how to solve the question correctly. These type of questions are very, very likely for the Positemi examination for various universities and also for JAMP and WAEC candidates. So let's see how it goes. Now, looking at option A, is option A an empirical formula? Let us check. Because I said empirical formula is the simplest form that compound can exist. So looking at option A, C2, H2. Is C2H2 the simplest form this compound can exist? No. I can break this compound down. So I think I will divide all the, the, the numbers by 2. So when I do this, I'll get 1. When I do this, I'll get 1. So what are we getting at, as our empirical formula? That's the simplest form this compound can, can exist. It is C1, H1, or I say CH. So you can see how it works. Now, looking at option B, option B says the compound is C2H6. Is C2H6 the simplest form this compound can exist? No, it is not. I think I will divide by 2. Me dividing by 2, when we do this, I will get 1. When we do this, I will get 3. So we are getting the empirical formula now that's the simplest form it can exist to be C1, H3, or I simply say CH3. You know, this is very popular. It is called the Mixel. Okay, it's called the Mixel group. So moving further to option C, let's check if option C is an empirical formula. Because, because the question says, which of the following compounds below is an empirical formula. So we've seen that option A and option B is not an empirical formula because we can break it down to get an empirical formula. So let's check for option C, which is c 3 h 6 Now, what should I divide these numbers by? I think I will divide by 3, okay? So when 3 go into this, I'll get, I'm getting 1. So when 3 go into this, I'm getting 2. So what are we getting now? It is c one h 2 or I simply say CH2, or you say the methylene group, okay? Now, looking at the last option, which is option D, you can see that we've checked from option A to C, and none of them we are empirical formula. So it means this becomes the answer. Let us check, because I'm getting C, they gave us C3H8. Now, looking at this compound carefully, let's say I'm to divide by theory. Let's say I'm to divide by 3. So 3 going to here, it is 1. But 3 cannot go into this 8. So let's say we are to divide by 8. Okay? 8 cannot go into this, and 8 can go here, will give us 1. So it means that this compound here cannot be broken down. 
Okay, so since the compound cannot be broken down, it is regarded to be called the empirical formula or the empirical formula in this option. So the best answer goes to option D. So you can see how questions on empirical formula are being asked. So you have to take note of these questions for your post-CME examination. I am Bright Edo and thanks for watching.